What's up my little dad and tells Yo, the girls are fighting. Harry and Meghan made a coup. They made a coup by seeing the queen without any leaks. We know why that happened. William wasn't there. What it looks like the silent deal between Charles and the tabloids has literally been upheld because he leaked information that he met with, um, who was it? Harry. Charles and Harry met for 15 minutes before Harry met with the queen. This was an exclusive given to Richard K. I'm going to give you guys the plot. They are out of their minds. But the sickest thing, as I go through and give my commentary, I want you to keep in mind, all the talk that they have of Harry coming back into the royal fold, 100% depends on Harry not just leaving Meghan, but abandoning his two young children and coming in as a single man. Those royals are desperate to get any drop of color, in my opinion, out of their family. But this report by Richard Kate is just laughable. I will also say this. I also think that 15 minute meeting, I don't think it was a meeting at all. I think that Harry was on the way to waiting in a room to see his grandmother and Charles came into the room and started talking to him along with Camilla. I also do think that this is the beginning of Charles's payback to smack William and put him in his place. Do I think Charles misses Harry? Most likely not. I think that he is actually using Harry to hurt William. Cause don't forget after William's disastrous Caribbean tour, as you hear the story, Keep this in mind. William had a disastrous tour. Keep that back in the head. It brought shame to him, Kate, his country, the monarchy, anyone. Everybody got spared with how horrible William and Kate did. William and Kate, that was the first big responsibility they had. When it wasn't just about like showing up, they actually had to fix a problem. They made the problem worse. They were humiliated. He was mad he was humiliated. Instead of just taking any type of stock and being like, what could I have done better? Maybe I should have listened to the people. William threw a temper tantrum. He told the Commonwealth, I don't even care if I'm not even gonna govern you. You're a thing of the past. And I'm gonna kill the, I'm not kill, but delete everything that Duchy of Cornwall did during his lifetime when I take over. He literally then released polls, in my opinion. I think they were behind those polls saying, half of the people want Prince Charles to step around so William can rule. He literally tried to come at his dad and pull the popularity and embarrass Charles. Charles saw that, you know he's jealous hearted and now he's trying to pull Harry in as a tool to smack William, get his revenge, get him jealous and keep him back in line. Y'all, let's get into these reports, but keep an eye on this because <laughs> blood always shows and those blood, those blue bloods, it's a damn shame. Also, hit the button, like, and subscribe. All right, let's get it. All right, so the report starts. There were strings attached to the Sussex visiting the queen. There were strings attached ahead of the meeting with the queen. Harry would first have to see his father, just as in the crisis over Mexit when she insisted the Sussex's departure from Britain was overseas by Prince Charles. The queen was again demonstrating that she had her own red lines. And since the Prince of Wales was also at Windsor, along with the Duchess of Cornwall, I wonder what happened between Camilla and Meghan, side note. Because remember a long time ago, um, there was that story that when Harry was writing his memoir, they were scared about what he would put about Camilla in reference to Megan. I wonder if she was the one asking how the baby's skin was going to look and if the hair was going to be curly or coily. Okay, let's move on, right? They said, um, since the Prince of Wales was also at Windsor, along with Duchess of Spoiled Milk, I'm sorry, Cornwall, where he was standing in for his mother to distribute laundry money to community figures where there were no logistical obstacles. Today, all sides agree that if there is to be a reconciliation between Harry and his family, then these meetings were a crucial first step. It is understood that Harry and Meghan met Charles around 10 a.m. for 15 minutes. According to the source, Camilla joined the meeting midway through. You know, we're gonna come back to that. Get this, as one long-standing friend of his told him, told me, this is to Richard K. I know that piece of trash. Anyway, he loves his son and he's been broken hearted by everything that's taken place. Although he fears history repeating itself with Harry just as it did with Princess Diana. You fear history repeating itself? What history is this? Are you going to cheat on um, Diana? Are you, I'm sorry, are you gonna cheat on Harry? Make her meet 
your mistress drive her to alleged bulimia and literally make her just go crazy because you're jealous that harry shines more than you i don't know i don't know how history can repeat itself unless we're talking about charles's jealousy then i guess it could because like all of the windsors they have the personality of a cold unseasoned unsweetened lumpy bowl of oatmeal and anyone anyone standing next to them they make people look brighter and shinier by comparison i can't blame them though literally once you had harry and megan combined it was just like it's curtain for Israel. i guess the only thing you could do is take a back seat or try to destroy them they haven't been destroyed then it looks like the windsors are taking a back seat anyway let's move on Charles loves his son and has been brokenhearted by everything that's taken place. Although he fears history repeating itself with Harry just as it did with Princess Diana. But he also wants to keep the door open and keep talking. Something he still regrets not doing with Diana. Let me tell y'all something. If anything, I know what's happening. This is my opinion. The Windsors, well not even that, the royal family want to keep um, Harry and Meghan close by because they want some of that star power. They want to try to earn their trust so they can release statements about them to the media and leak stuff to the media and draw them back in to keep them close enough that they can take some of their star power, look interesting, but also, in my opinion, do a Jason Knopf, befriend them, and try to sabotage them because they're still mad that they weren't destroyed. And if Harry and Meghan come close to them, they will try to destroy and sabotage them again. Now, it is lucky that the, that the royal family's idiots and they'll probably blunder it. But Megan just got off of the lawsuit with the Daily Mail. They had their Netflix hit. They're raising beautiful kids. Do they have time for this? Anyway, get this. They did have a happy meeting with the queen. After saying their farewells to Charles, Harry and Meghan moved to the Queen's private apartment where I'm told the atmosphere was a lot less edgy. Even though she's been both mystified and at times upset by many of Harry's words and deeds in the past two years, how would Richard K know? Has Richard K ever gotten exclusive with the Queen? How would they know what she feels? Because as much as they try to paint it that the Queen hates Harry, she always has an open door always lends an ear and always takes a meeting seriously again if she has love for andrew and after what andrew did she's still holding andrew close to them well how do you feel she how what do you think she's gonna do to harry anyway where's it at right um her grandson is something of a favorite he's always had the ability to make her laugh and he loves that about she loves that about him you mean harry has a personality yes right especially compared to william um says a companion to this day whenever she hears that harry is on the phone her eyes light up there's no this was no last minute visit and had and had uh and wait and had to take account of the queen's recent bout of ill health which included contracting COVID in february so they planned all this and the royal media didn't know but charles had to leak something to keep that little uh the unspoken agreement between him and the tabloids going harry and megan better stay away get this it can be no coincidence therefore that once harry and megan's social media cheerleaders uh have been unusually quiet about the content of both meetings not leaking details is being seen as a way of getting some trust back into the relationship you know why they didn't leak anything because they couldn't william wasn't there to leak charles realizes that the monarchy is dead under william nobody likes him he needs harry and megan star power he now the thing is i don't think charles wishes anything more than to use them but william wants to destroy them just for existing what do you mean social media when have harry and megan ever leaked to social media i want to know you guys let me know i'm interested to know get this in the absence of one other royal figure that is most keenly felt, Prince William, who was on a family skiing holiday, the Duke of Cangers has been his brother's biggest critic, dismayed by allegations of bullying the royal staff and claims of racism. And as a result, a rift was open between them. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope that William can rule without his brother or Meghan ever around because I swear to God, the, Meg the monarchy will be done within five years of him taking hold. I swear to God, I swear to God, William's so crazy. I can see him even trying to sabotage Charlotte and what's the little one? Charlotte and George. I can see them trying to sabotage Charlotte and George just because I feel like he's even more power hungry than his father's rumored to be. He has not seen Harry since the two jointly unveiled a statue of their mother outside Kensington Palace last July and contacted him since 
has been sporadic. He doesn't like talking about Harry since a friend of Duke. She he says it gives him a headache. Even when William is giving a sympathetic quote, he comes off as such an ass. Like, it gives me a headache. Again, does uh, everything that happened in the Caribbean give you a headache? Or, I don't know. Let's move on, right? William worries about his poor father. The breach between the brothers is an open wound that is still remotely, hasn't remotely begun to heal. William is especially uneasy about Harry's book deal amid fears that both he and his wife Kate will be in the crosshairs. I hope they are. Ooh, he understands the need for reconciliation and all that, but at the same time, he worries about his father being ambushed by Harry. <sighs> William, William, William. Again, I think prior to the Caribbean tour, I don't think this meeting would have happened between Prince Charles and Harry. However, and let me know what you think in the comments, I think it is 100% say that after the way um, William and Kate completely mess up the tour, but shame to their family's name. I know, and these are alleged slaveholders. Shame to the British family. Shame to monarchists. They just bungled it. It was such a deep, humiliating thing. The fact of, I think that's when Charles got his wake up call and was like, yeah, it's not gonna work with William. We need to bring Harry in. And also remember how William after that went and attacked his father. Remember how he went and attacked his father saying that th he's gonna end the duchy. He's not gonna govern like Charles and everything Charles built up, he's gonna destroy when he takes over. Do you really think that petty ass Charles forgot that? Anyway, get this, the queen wants peace. I I think the queen doesn't care she just wants harry's back she said this has been a deeply troubling time for the royal family and the queen would dearly love to put the recent bitterness behind her would she love to see harry on the buckingham palace balcony during the platinum jubilee events of course but she knows there's some reassurances on all sides that need to happen not since the days of diana's collaboration first with writer andrew morton and then the panorama have the royals been so de-established but there is a pragmat pragmatism inside the palace where aides recognize that harry had to swallow some pride in making this week's visit did he i don't think he did he took his wife he gave his granny a kiss and he moved on. What pride did he have to swallow? Pride would be a photo op with, Her with Charles or giving William a kiss on the cheek. Anyway, um, courtiers will be hoping that having already resolved one highly damaging family issue involving Prince Andrew, they can similarly settle their differences with Harry and Meghan. The fact that they keep comparing Harry and Meghan to Prince Andrew, these people have not learned a thing. The fact that they still want to try to find a way to draw them in, to control them, to crush them. And the fact, and this is the crazy thing, that they still somehow think that they can bring Harry in the fold and not just make him leave and abandon Megan, but leave and abandon his other two children. These people are sick. They are out of their minds. If they think for one second, forget about Harry and Meghan staying together, that Harry would ever abandon his family to come back into a, uh, uh, um, to come back into, sorry, mosquito, to come back into a fold that tried to destroy him. They're out of their minds. You guys, let me know what you think in the comments. And hopefully by the time you see this, I'll be back to my Abby. All right, you guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.